What's going on, everybody? So if you guys watched the Mario Party LP, then you guys know what this is about. If you guys don't know, if you guys haven't watched the Mario Party LP, that's okay, too. So, yeah, guys. Uh, so I got a comment, and he couldn't. And if it was relearning my side flip, this guy said he did a backflip into a foam pit. But he couldn't actually get, like, the commitment down to actually just do it on a trampoline. Because he did it into a trampoline, into a foam pit, but, you know... It's actually a little bit different from doing it into a foam pit to doing it on the trampoline. And honestly, it's a really hard question to really answer because, you know, you really can't teach anybody how to commit. But you can actually give them some tips on how to get over the fear of, like, doing a backflip. So this is basically what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be teaching you guys the ways to get over a backflip. And this is how I kind of, like, teach other ways on people who can't do a backflip on a trampoline. This is how I teach them on how to do the backflip. Alright guys, so very first thing you need to know how the backflip really is, alright? Very first thing I did when I would practice the backflip is, now this is going to sound really stupid, but this is what I did. I actually put an exercise ball down on the trampoline, and I just rolled back onto my back onto that exercise ball, and that got me the feeling of actually doing a backflip. Because what I did was, I just kind of like, had the exercise ball behind me, and then I just like... Kind of like put my back on it and then I just roll backwards onto it, onto it, and then I just tried to work myself to my feet. That gave me the, actually the feeling of doing a backflip. Until, you know, I kept laying on my knees and then I didn't try it anymore. So then, what I did in doing that is trying to like work myself backwards by going to the side first. That's, a, that's like one of the best ways until you can reach yourself to going completely straight backwards. So going to the side kind of like doing this here you know you just kind of like go to the side almost kind of like a cartwheel going to the side you know and you just keep going to your side until you can actually reach yourself to actually going almost completely backwards this going to the side um just gets you the more used to just going more and more and more and more backwards that's really all it does so just go to your side kind of like this here you can put your hand down if you need to but you don't have to so just like going to the side kind of like this here it's weird, but eventually you could just you just want to keep doing that until you can work yourself more and more back. So when you guys go over your shoulder a little bit more, so like I'm gonna go like so I'm gonna start out small, I'm gonna go, go across my elbow. All right. Also, if you land on your knees, your stomach it really doesn't matter since you're on a trampoline. You're not gonna hurt yourself. So that was the elbow. Now your shoulder. Then more kind of like this here like your ear kind of more almost more like your ear and then you know completely over your head into a backflip so you basically kind of like landing on your knees your very first times when you do that until eventually you get the point to where you can actually like land and just like doing the backflip so Keep doing that until you actually get comfortable, until you're like completely doing that kind of landing. So you don't have to worry about landing it just yet because you're still progressing, all right? So I don't know why I'm out of breath. I didn't even do that much, but yeah. Doing that until you completely go completely straight backwards. That's one of the ways. Okay, so Another way you can do it is if you try to do a back handspring. Now you don't. Now, this is a. Now this is a lot of people's problem, is that they can do a backflip on a trampoline, but they can't do a back handspring on a trampoline. So instead of more doing a back handspring, which I really can't do my back handspring compared to my backflip on this, but uh, when it comes to doing a back handspring on a trampoline, that obviously gets you the fear of not landing on your head. Um, it just gets you, like, making sure that you can go, like, more straight backwards without, uh, like, hitting your head or just, like, doing anything bad that's going to happen to you. So this is, so this is what I did. Well, this is one of the many things I did, actually. What I did was, I'm going to do this from a side angle so you guys can see it better. What I did was, is I put my hands down over my head, like this here, complete, when I went all the way straight backwards... So I wouldn't, um, so I wouldn't hit my head and also gave me more, like, confidence to, like, going over 
to where I landed. So what I did was put my arms over my head. I did not, don't bend, okay? If you guys are doing this, do not bend your arms, all right? Keep them almost completely straight. All right, so to when you do this, because this will get, because if you bend it, you'll probably like hit your hands on your head when you land, when you, if you land on your head on the trampoline. So don't ever do this. So don't ever bend your arms when you do this, all right? So, but keep them almost completely straight or just maybe just a little bend, but do not bend them like this here, okay? So when you go backwards, you can put your hands like this here to make sure that you don't like hit your head or whatever you do. As long as you don't bend your arms, you will not hit your head if you do this, all right? But you can go backwards with putting your hands like this here um, when you go backwards. So a little bit like this here, all right? I haven't done this in forever, so this is not gonna look very good because you know I can do the backflip now. All right, but you can put your hands on your, but you can put your hands over until you get more comfortable with actually just like throwing your arms. Cause, cause in the backflip, you have to throw your arms like, like you've never really th thrown them before. All right, this basically gets you more confidence if, if you go back on your, onto your arms, it gets, um, you just wanna keep working on that until you can probably make it over to where you don't need to use your arms. So it's kind of like the back handspring, almost kind of like this here. So you have your arms stop you from like landing on your head, um, no, no matter really how far you go back. So you just want to keep drilling that until you don't need to use your arms anymore. So landing on the head, but landing on your arms, before you do that, that avoids like... That avoids like landing on your head, but you know, if you, like I was saying, if you land on your stomach or your knees, you're gonna be fine because you know, you're on a trampoline. You're really not gonna hurt yourself. But, you're, but if you do actually hurt yourself, I'm not responsible. But when you do this, don't try to go too far back, all right, you'll fly off the trampoline. But just have your arms up to where you can uh, help progress yourself a little bit more. And don't bend them like this here. So I'll do that one more time for you guys. See, I didn't hit my head because I had my arms like that. All right, so. So that's another tip. And and actually, when you do that, one more thing I should probably explain about that. Um, the more and more you do that, um, you want to try to do less and less and less and less of your hands every time to where you put almost like no weight on your hands. That and that and when you do less and less of your hands, that actually gets you to the point to where you can rotate without even using your hands. It's kind of, it's really hard to land it when you're doing that though, but you know, that gets you the feeling of going upside down. All right, next, throw your arms. This is the biggest thing people do that, well, no, this is actually probably the second thing people don't actually know. Doing a backflip, it's really in a lot of the swinging your arms. You have to swing your arms like you've never thrown them before. All right? So when you do the backflip, you have to start with your arms behind you, like this here, and you squat about 45 degrees with your legs, and you swing. You swing as hard as you possibly can. That's, that's one of the biggest things in doing a backflip, is you have to swing with your arms, then, then when you reach your mat, and then... A lot of people, this is what they do here. They swing almost kind of a little bit up and then they try to go for the tuck. Well, you want to try and reach your top point and that's when you tuck. Because if you reach like this, like, like this far and you tuck, it's not going to work. You have to make sure you're at your max point. All right? So this is more kind of like what it's like here. Here, max point was right there. So that's when you grab your legs. So you guys can also do some jump tucks too to try to get into that motion of actually like grabbing your legs. So a jump tuck is this here. Just make sure you reach your max point when you, when you grab your legs. So here and jump tuck. Jump tuck. All right. All right, don't jump. All right, when you hop, don't. All right, when you hop, don't do it like right here. Do it at your top, top point here. Jump tuck. All right, I'll do that one more time. Just like that. And that gets you the feeling of, of grabbing when you go for the tuck, all right? All right, so swing your arms so to, to reach your top point. You guys also might be jumping too. You might not be just standing like I was, but for your first time, definitely like jump and then go for a backflip, all right? 
So next, if you guys, if you guys, this is probably one, this is probably a bit, another big thing, is the tuck. Also the last tip, I'm probably, the last tip you should guys probably know, you're tucking, alright? So the tuck, people, people, when you see them do a backflip, they tuck like this here. When they do the backflip, they tuck right here. Well, when you're first landing a backflip, it's sometimes hard to land like that. So when you want it, so your rotation for doing this, you can you can use your hips for it a little bit, so you can rotate a little bit faster. But when you but when you grab your legs though, you can jerk them to the side like this here. So this is how your jump tuck could look like when you're rotating. You can jump tuck like this here. The more of a ball you are, the more of a ball you are, the faster you will spin. So your jump tuck when you're first doing it will probably look like this here. That's how you'll probably look when you're when you go for the flip in the air. Sorry, there's squirrels over there. I think they're scaring me. But yeah, your jump tuck should look like this here. So jump and your legs out to the side. That will help you spin so much more than you actually might think too. But when you do the backflip, you lead with your arms and they all go up in one motion. One, all one motion. And this is. All right, this last tip when it this ties in with the tucking, that's why I left it. This is the biggest problem people have, and this is actually a problem that I've had for the longest time. That's why I can never do a backflip on a trampoline for a while. People bring their chest to their knees. You don't want to do that. You want to bring your knees into your chest because that makes you lose height. It's dr that's what that's what people say, like dropping your chest. You want you want to keep your chest up. That's what they mean because people bring their chest into their knees. You want to bring your knees to your chest. Not only will that help you rotate faster, but that also will keep your height a little bit more. Because if you bring your chest to your knees, you're dropping down your height. All right. So say for instance, all right. So I'm bringing my knees to my chest. So I'm bringing my knee to my chest. I'm also leaning back when I do that too. You can see how that kind of works. All right. Bring your knee into your chest. You're leaning backwards, so that helps you get the momentum to also go backwards. But if I bring my chest to my knees, look, look what I'm doing here when I bring my chest to my knees. See, you're dropping down. The more you are like down like this here, this is where your height, this is where your height's gonna be if you're if you bring your chest to your knees. Because if you bring your chest down to your knees, you're basically like losing height as you do that, and that's gonna be your max height, like right here when you go in to do your back flip. And you're gonna land on your hands and knees kind of like this here when you do it. You don't ever want to bring your chest down to your knees. You want to bring your knees in your chest and that helps you not only rotate but also helps like prevent your like keep your height the more you are. So always bring your knees into your chest as much as you possibly can. Then putting that all together with going to the side until you can completely go over. Put your hands above your head so you don't land on your head and keep making it over and throwing your arms and tucking you get a backflip just like that guys that's how that's what all a backflip is jump tuck and prevent landing on your head and putting it all together once you get it from that you'll be able to do a backflip just like that so at the very end of it too your backflip will probably look like this here Alright, this actually took me two minutes to learn, so it's really not that hard. Especially, and the guys had no experience with this at all. Well, I did when I was 13, but of course I had to learn on the trampoline before I landed on the ground. But after that, guys, this is what your backflip should look like. And then, once you get good at being able to do that, you'll be able to do it just standing. This is actually why I had a little bit of problem. I had to do just a little bounce before I could do it. But if you guys actually think about doing a backflip on the ground after you get on a trampoline, definitely do it standing on the trampoline. All right, so you'll be able to do it standing like this here. And guys, that is how to get over the fear of doing a backflip. Alright guys, so quick disclaimer for this video too. The bat uh I'll set up here. 
So yeah, guys, quick disclaimer for this video. The backflip is still kind of dangerous, even though after the tips, I still learned you guys. So definitely train at your own risk when you are doing this. But yeah, guys, those multiple different ways to get over doing a backflip, but those are just the ways I found the most effective. So yeah, guys, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in my video that I do tonight. So see you there, guys. Peace out.